Elliot, have you looked at the history? Okay, can we just use the microphone for me? Thank you. I know that you're a fan of the sport and the history of the sport. Have you looked at the history of the race and thought about yourself now as part of the history? Have you thought of yourself now as being part of the history of Boston, the great history of this race? Oh, Boston actually is I think it's the oldest marathon in Europe, the new history dating to about over 100 years ago, which uh, I trust uh, every athlete that should come and run in Boston to test how old they are and, 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 and more to promote the sport of running as healthy and naturally as a uh, uh, spirit of association with humanity. I think I ought to be uh, uh, among the history who will be written actually in Boston one of the days. That's why I'm here to run on Monday. Very hot or maybe very cold with wind and rain. 
how to work your hands on the floor to raise for these conditions? Oh, I think what I tell you is you can do it, you cannot discuss, because all of us will be running on the same temperature, the same weather. So it's, uh, it's, it will affect all of us. If the weather will be preferable, actually, it will be preferable to that it does on the runners on Monday. If the weather will be really hot and hot, actually, to that it does on the runners on, on Monday. So it's a, uh, it's a sport. That's why it's called sport. And that's why we will get number one, but number two, it's most, one of the challenges is the weather. So, I will go with the weather because that's, you can't control it. It's nature. I am Actually, I my coach met you last month. He, he trained with you, so he was really good. But my question to you is Boston is unique. Boston is unique. You have a lot of experience. So, but how are you preparing to actually get with that challenge? You know, challenge, and you always say that there is no limit for humans. So, how are you preparing for Boston? I have prepared uh, for Boston for the last five months. I have kept my seconds, my minutes, uh, my days, my weeks, my months, and I think that's what will actually uh, push me to the finishing line. So, I've been preparing when it's the last two moments where I. I just crash him up for Monday. And, and, and we have no limits at all. We need to push. Life is about pushing. That's why we sleep and work. So it's not, there is no comfort zone as far as life is concerned. So let us push, push, push for the day. And, 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 and we will enjoy running. Thank you. Thank you. How is it? How is it? How is it? What was that? Do you, you follow UFC? No, no, no. I don't. I'm experienced with uh, the same. Did you watch? I, I, I didn't get it. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Elliot. I'm Lenny from the Marathon Running Podcast. My question to you is we see you smiling a lot on the course. Is that something that you plan on doing, or you do it every five miles, or you do it when you're in pain, or when do you decide that you're going to smile, or is it something that you see here? The smile is not actually uh, makes my mind to forget the pain. <laughs> so, so on Monday, when you'll be running, just smile and forget, enjoy the day. Right. Thank you. Any more questions? Yep. Let's say two. Yep. We have two more questions after this one. Hey, Elliot. So, you know, sometimes we talk about, you know, when athletes are doing bad, right? We talk about, you know, them coming back and things like that and keeping their mental state and getting back up. But you've been at the top for so long, doing very well. How are you able to remain, you know, grounded and, you know, keep a strong, you know, mental state from race to race? Oh. <clears throat> I trust the uh, Difference is that uh, I've treated running as a profession and as a career. I've tried to build it with the right values of hard work, discipline, focus, and concentration. That's what I've tried to build the apple running. Uh, I've tried to be really professional in running. That's why I'm still uh, to be happy. I know that you cannot be, I cannot be happy there forever, but I'm Try and hold them to show uh, 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 the rest of the world that uh, longevity is what is needed in sport. Longevity is what inspires the next generation. Longevity actually is what you can actually invest in running through the right values of working hard and, 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 and inspiring the next Because uh, we are now contemplating on the next generation. We are no longer the, the next generation. I'm old, I'm over the five years, and they say if you are over the five years, you are no longer. Uh, the next generation. I am working for the next generation. Thank you. Up the back here. Hi again. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting you in Berlin, and uh, today I just took a picture of you. And uh, my question for you is, uh, Boston is very special for all of us here in Boston. Uh, the marathon is very special. And uh, the events of 2013 is still very fresh in our memory. So people, uh, we still remember that a lot. And for you to be here, which is very special to us, could you have any special message for the people that live here in the city? Uh, the fact that I'm born, but uh, I register myself to be in Boston, so we need the Boston residents are going to celebrate the 10 years of the negative back at the tension line, which is it was really unfortunate. I encourage all of us to be able to follow humanity 
Let us actually talk together. Let us love ourselves as brothers and sisters. Let us uh, 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 follow that humanity. That humanity is actually is, uh, is what uh, that humanity is what is needed. That's why I'm here to celebrate with the people on Monday, the 10 years anniversary, and, and tell the people, hey, we are one. Let us be positive and, and love each other. That's why I'm here. Sorry, hold on. Sorry. One last question. Uh, how were you able to transition from cross country in 10Ks into a full fledged marathon? Uh, it was not easy for, to make transition, but okay. uh, I tried. But uh, the good thing is that uh, I have the right team, the right systems are fully to console and to work together. And now I am working as a team. I trust the team of actually as a group of people trusting each other, they trust me, they have taken me from where I was when I was a truck runner, up to now when I am a marathon runner. From here. You said you work for the next generation, uh, so you know very well the field. Who do you think is the next kid children? The, the next kid children actually will be in America, will be North America, South America, Caribbean, Europe, Asia, and Africa. I don't know when, when will he actually uh, sprout up, but there are a lot of progress because I'm insp inspiring them and nudging them to, to, to actually do the best. So we'll, we'll see them soon. Uh, last question over here with Barbara. Elliot, what outcome on Monday, what day you call your race here a 100% success? Oh, uh, I can't control the future, but I control the present. So that day actually I will accept the outcome. No sport is about accepting. The day you accept the results of the sport, that's the only way to enjoy it. And so what I will be getting actually on Monday, I will say hallelujah, I will be enjoying it. And I hope for all, the, all the people actually will see, will be seeing the effort that I am putting. I am hoping for the best. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much everybody. Thank you, Elliot.